Right, so moving on to the last training video on how to use the PD computer. We're going to go over this top box here and the different things that you might want to put in here. So first of all, I'm going to show you what a person report looks like. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop in a random name. So we're going to do a person check on Armatech. So we can see here, first of all, we have a list of licenses. So Armatech, uh, as of the 20th of February 2006, at this time, currently does not have any licenses whatsoever because they're all coloured in red. And I'll show you another report to help with that. And we have all of these warrants here. So you'll see back from the previous uh, training videos that we made this training report here. And it's served so we can see that. However, we can see here that he does have an open warrant here for training as well. And I'm going to mark that as served as well. And you can do that the same way as before. And it will link you back to the page. So moving down here through the long list of warrants, we also see reports, so crime reports again, so we can have a look and see whether someone's been had multiple tickets for speeding or something like that. And when we've got through all of this list, we can see here witnesses. So the same thing where Mr. Armitech, instead of being the person committing the crime, he was the witness of somebody else doing a crime. As well, we have here the jail reports, same as before. We can see how many times they've been in jail for any reason that we might need to. And he says seems to not own any vehicles. So let's go ahead and have a look at somebody else here. Let's go and have a look at Mr. Berg T. So as we can see, it's slightly different with Mr. Berg T here. There's a few less warrants here, but they've all been served and we can see here this is highlighted green so Mr. Berg T has a driver's boat, a pilot, a pistol, a rifle, a truck and a diving license but does not have a motorbike license or a passport which aren't used as much well, aren't used but it's still there highlighted red once again the crime reports are the same all served witnesses again but moving down here we can now see AMPR in storage so automatic number plate recognition so it recognizes what vehicles he has in storage so we can currently see here the class name of the vehicle uh, but this is a more important thing here the number plate so for example let's go with this one here copy and paste that and quickly look here so once again jar reports he's got none so let's go back up to the top and we're going to move on to something else we're going to move on to the license plate. So, somebody has asked for a license plate check on a vehicle that they've pulled over or one that's already speeding and they're currently following and they want to know who it might be that they need to arrest. So we've got this number plate here, VA65CBH. And we've popped it under the license plate check and we're going to click search. And similar to this window, it will load in here and this is the part we want to make sure we do that again quickly I think it's better to take away okay here we go we can see here so we just have to look through sometimes it filters more in so IX65 VEM it's not the one we want we want this one here that's fully highlighted yellow so we can see here VA65 CVH the number plate matches a transit dark green transit van and the owner is Berg T, so we can report that back to them. And that is how you do a number plate check. Uh, it's also how you check somebody for any crimes that they might have. If somebody comes to PD and asks for a warrant check, this is how you do it. By going on to person report, typing their name in and checking any open warrants they might have. And they might be willing to serve them there and then. So I hope this has not been too difficult for you. If you have any questions, don't forget you can ask any higher up officers and they or your FTO and they will be sure to help you out where they can. Don't make the mistake of not asking and then struggling and making something wrong. Everyone's here to help. 
good luck in the rest of your training and hope to see you in PD.